Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're going to be going over the Avada. Great drone, um, but we got a little accessory here for it. It's the gimbal camera protection bumper bar uh, for the DJI Avada. It's a standard version, uh, which works really well. And uh, I haven't crashed this yet because I'm really cautious with flying, but you know, eventually you might have a crash. The way I fly, I just fly slow and recreationally. I don't do anything crazy, um, but I've had a couple of near misses. And, you know, I, I think about you, you should have a gimbal protector on here because if you hit it, it's just going to go crashing in. I'll show you how it works. So it's, it's like it's really nice. There's a little springy thing here. It just retracts, goes up and down, you know, um, and you sometimes see it when you break really hard. But the damage would be when it crashes. All right. So let's get started. Let's install the gimbal protector. I took the battery out. Battery's right here. Um, battery should fit since we're not adding anything on the rear. Um, so what you do is, of course, you want to open it. Uh, we have a little thingy here that we've used for the other drone videos. And just in case you have to return it, right? You just want to be able to, you, you know, have the box in one piece. Or who knows, maybe when you go to sell the drone, someone might love the accessories and want to know if you, do you still have the box? All right, so it comes with some stuff. I'll put the Avada right there. Nice, you got some long screws and short screws, which is great. Um, most likely it'll probably be using the long screws. Um, little instructions, how-to video. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I would say, uh, since it's an accessory that's going on. Most likely we'll have to remove the screws and use the new ones, um, but I'll just move that over here. If it's on, looks like it fits on. Um, goes right, squeeze it on there, fits into these right here. Look at that. Really nice. And you see it protects it. Although I've seen some where they actually come out, protrude more. Um, but this one actually is a little bit shorter, but it looks like it still does the job. Um, so let's put it together and, and see how it works. And we also want it, the reason why I didn't get the one that protruded out really far also because, um, uh, it looked like you'd be able to see it, but hopefully this one you can't see. That's what a lot of the reviews were saying, that you could still see the gimbal protector while you're flying. So that's why I chose the shorter one. So let's say if it was going to crash, right? See? It just simply, it'll never hit the gimbal because it has a gimbal protector on. Unless you hit something narrow like that, then you're pretty much, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of protector you have. All right, so we're going to... Um, Remove it. You have some screws. It comes with a little Allen wrench. Um, I'm not sure what kind of surface you want to use, but for me, I chose white because this way I can find everything easily. So most likely, we just need two screws. One. Looks like you have some extra ones there, um, which is fine, which is great. You never know. And it looks like the screws have a little thread locker on them too. That's probably why they want you to use these screws because um, these might have thread locker on them and um, you might have to uh, it's nice it just unscrews really easily uh, hopefully the um, DJI thing doesn't fall off uh, looks like it's holding that together uh, this little logo cover which is fine oh nice looks like yes we lost a screw um, it fell somewhere, but thankfully we have an extra one. Okay, so we'll find it. There it is, right there. So the screw, it's not magnetic, so you have to be careful with the screws. Um, so you probably want to hold it down in this direction as you're uh, removing the other screw, or any of the screws, so they just fall onto your surface and don't fall into the uh, drone because they're a little holes and pockets inside the drone that um you know the the little little screw can fall in and you actually don't want that here we go and this one came out oh nice this one has thread locker on it too of some sort so you want to keep the you keep these for later in case you want to put it back all right then you take this thing here the uh gimbal protection bumper right and you just slide it on. Make sure the holes are matched. 
right? Like you can see right through the holes because sometimes things move. Uh, and then you just squeeze that on like that. And I can see through the hole, which is great. Um, and I can see through that hole, which is great, which is holding up that thing. Uh, you could put your hand in it if you need to, to make sure everything is still in place. And so then what you do is you take your first screw, right? Make sure it's lined up. Um, otherwise it's not going to go in. So what you want to do is, yep, I see it. And it should line up really well um, without any problem. Okay. Hopefully, right? Make sure the battery's out. Looks like, and you don't want it to touch the bottom either. Ah, there we go. First one is lined up. It's a little dark, hard to see inside of the uh, hole, but once it's in, it's in. And you want to get the first one in. Don't don't screw it all the way because you want to make sure that. Um, both are evenly seated in. It'll take a while to thread through because remember it's screwing in. It doesn't push in, it threads in. And um, as you can see, one is almost done, right? Yep, looks like that's going in nicely. That's snug too. So that's it, look at that. And then you can check the gimbal by um, just you know, making sure that it does what it's supposed to. You know, like it's not too tight. You have to do a gimbal protector on. Uh, I don't think that does anything, um, but everything fits nicely in there. Um, of course, the battery should fit in. Let's see. Not that, you know, anything drastic was changed, changed but, you know, you never know. Um, sometimes tightening things, adding accessories uh, can change things for better. Or for worse look at that now it works now we have a gimbal protector for the DJI Avada um, let's test it out and just make sure that it actually does what it's supposed to do and we won't see it protruding in the uh, video that we take all right let's have a look all right so there's the Avada we can see um, so far so good looks like um, I'll just turn it around it's been works really well with the um, gimbal guard, as you can see. So let's see actually how well it flies. Right? That's what we really want to do. Well, see, that's when you see it, when you break hard. But other than that, um, I see something, but that's probably because of the gimbal angle. So look, if you have your gimbal angle, you can see, but that's normal. Um, this is a normal view. Um, and then usually if you tilt it up too high, you'll you see an error that says gimbal access point reached to the max or something. But other than that, that's a little bit lower because there are wires. Um, other than that, that's it. Let me know what you think. Um, leave your comments down below or ideas and suggestions for other videos. And I'll see you all next time.